And um, what he done his podcast. Ladles and jelly spoons. Here we are. We're live, so it says we must be live. My name's Tim Dow for living with MS in Tenerife. As you maybe have heard, I've got some guests over there with a microphone. So um, I hope they weren't swearing in the first seven seconds. <laughs> uh, here I am outside the fountain by Harry's Bar, opposite uh, the Hard Rock Cafe in Las Americas. And we're going for a walk today with two people. Webby, one of my mates from, well, he's, he's, he's my best mate. He's my best mate. Webby's my best mate. Always looks after me. Always got something to say. Can't shut the guy up. And he says, let's go for a walk. I'll tell you, we'll go for a walk. He says, we'll go for a walk with Graham. I said, Graham who? He said, Graham with you, you know, Graham with you, footballer. I said, you know, I don't know a lot about football. He says, you've met him, you've met him. You did some magic in the Monte Oh, yeah, I know Graham, all right. I said, uh, I didn't even know he was a footballer. He says, yeah, yeah, he's done everything. He's Coventry City, he's, he's, uh, he's done Australia, Brisbane. Uh, he's been Hong Kong, all over the bloody place. He says, so well, he's got an interesting bloke. He says, we'll go give him a chat. So I said, all right, we'll go, go and I'll do that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, because I had this massive meet-up yesterday and was talking for hours, I'm a little bit hoarse. Hey, lad, he says. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to Webby, and Webby and Withy are going to have a chit-chat for your pleasure this morning. Let's see who's on. Uh, we've got 20 people watching already, eight thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to turn you around. Here's the lads with smiles Tim. upon the faces. Morning, boys. Going out a Berkshire Road to see the Burnley Aces. Thank you, Tim. How the devil are you guys? Oh, Great good. to see you again. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you, and thanks for coming on the walk. Yeah. You brought the bag so you could... So you could um, I got his hat. Got the hat, think. yeah, what's the hat? I was a sausage sandwich in there for half time. <laughs> half time sausage sandwich. We're a little bit, hey, Anne Smiler from New Zealand's on, it's Craig's on, Anthony's on, Alan Fraser's on. Alan, thank you so much for the donation last night, it was really, really appreciated. Uh, Betty Hennigan's on, Brendan's on, O'Donnell, everything's going. Webby Boom says Charlie. <laughs> Cheers, Charlie. Morning, Tim, says Barry Keto in Bond Chambers, and Charlie was on there. Eugene McGee was on early, smashed the like button, and it's Craig was in there for the first time. Cool dudes. So, guys. They can hear me very lightly, right? Good. So, Webby. How are you? You can, you can tell you what you've been doing. Lately. Listen, listen, by popular demand, I'm back. You know what I mean? I think three people want to be, I think three, I put three, <laughs> I put two figures. I think three people want to be back on. 38 the, people want to be back. Oh, is it 38? Sarah Charles was the word. Is Webby on, is Webby on. Listen, Sarah, if you're, if you're listening or you're coming on a bit later on, thank you for the Prezi. Absolutely fantastic. And I'll use it next few weeks. Um, we're in beautiful sunny Tenerife in the south of Tenerife. South. Oh. It's about 20, what temperature? 20. 20, 20 22. It's going to go up to what, Gray? 24. 24, 25, yeah. Suntan boy. Uh, we've got a prize to give away, um, Graham. Um, 25 euros. Anybody wants to donate, and you can have him for the day. <laughs> he's, um, he's single. Threatens. He threatens. He's got. Um, oh, he, hang on, am I? Well, he's he got this new, new lady. Oh, yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's been married before, as, as, as we know, but that's, a, that's another story. And um, before he came out last week, he comes over to see me, we have a good chat, catches the bus, down to Monte Cristo's, bit of football chat and so forth, and he says, uh, before last week, he says, got a date. What do you mean you got a date? You're too tired of it. was straight on it. I was yeah. straight on it. I said, what do you mean you got a date? I said, I've who is she? Where is she? He works now in Kellaway Building Societies, who sponsor Bristol Rugby Club. And... Every day, a young lady goes past in her 40s, 50s. 50s, I think. In I her think. 50s, good looking, attractive. Good, yeah. You've not sent me a photograph yet, have you? No. Just in case. Yeah. Just in case she's a <laughs> PIG. You know what I mean? But I won't say that. She's Just not. In, she's not. She's beautiful. No. Yeah. So he says, I'm taking her out for a couple of drinks tonight, time. I'm not saying he's tight, but they caught the bus. <laughs> no. Right? Caught the bus. <laughs> no. 150, 150 into Clifton, I think. What was that? Hey. <laughs> Two glasses of wine. He was back home for 8.30. I said, you give her a kiss? He says, no. no. I says, what do you mean you never give her a kiss on the first date? I says, you're having a laugh. I, yeah? I don't do anything on the first date. No. So, uh, respect. And <laughs> since then, how many messages? You, you haven't, I have not asked you. How many messages have you had Quite since you've been here? Yeah? Quite a few, yeah. Kisses? A little bit? Yeah, yeah one. There's you've, one. Only no. one kiss? Yeah. She's a bit tight on the kisses, yeah. then, isn't she? Yeah. There's one. But she's all right, isn't yeah. she? Right, 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 let's, let's she's get on. She's invited me out from uh, round her house on Friday. Has she? On some, a Jack Jones. Some feed, some food. Bit of feed. Food. <laughs> a bit of food. <laughs> food. Lovely. Right, let's get off you. Right, listen, <laughs> let's first, walk. let's go walk. Come on, boy, let's, get, let's go walk. 
So then, we'll say, way, we'll go this way. Your son's in your eyes. All right. Let me just let you me just keep away from me because the um, that's, that's the good. That's, wide. Let's just okay. give you a bit of um, updates on Graham. Met Graham um, in my last pub, the world famous Garden, Garden Bar, Bar. In, Fan, in Fania Bay. And what, did you buy Alan's or did Alan buy you? Alan, I bought the apartment off Alan. You bought the apartment off Alan. He used to come into my pub. Skivvy, uh, call him call Skivvy, him. top top man. He could be listening today. Yeah. And um, he came in. He said, "Well, he says a guy just bought me pub, and." Uh, Place for Coventry, I see you driving enough. So then you come down, and we've been best mates ever since, yeah. haven't we? And then we got talking, as you do, come down for a beer. I first and went to see him, Tim, and he, uh, I said, You Webby? And he, he, he put down, he had stuff for down, down, he come right up into my face like that, <laughs> like that. He went, Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, God, he's like, he's like that, <laughs> nose to nose. He wants to know, he said. I said, Well, me? I said, Because I used to play for Coventry, apparently you're a big Coventry fan. And then that was it, and then he was all right. But initially, he was a bit, I said, You Webby? And he was, yeah, I right. just wanted to make sure it wasn't my debts. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd have to get the bat out. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's <laughs> but he's a big lad anyway. So, uh, and we got talking and stuff. I mean, you, you've been around the town, haven't you? Yeah. With, with, in football, it was, when you started your football career, how old were you? What? Well, I was, was like, it professional? Yeah, professional. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And yeah. who did you play for first? Bristol Rovers. Played for the Rovers. Yeah. The Gas Men. Then went to Coventry. Then you went. Then from Rovers, you went to Cov. Then, then you know, I left, went to Cardiff. That was a bad move, really. Bam. Who was yeah. the manager at Cardiff? Alan then? Durbin. So yeah. Me, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah Alan Durbin. Durbin. You Durbin. weren't there very long? No, about 18 months. Only about 18 months. So I went back to Bath then, and then, yeah. Well, Bath was the place that... Uh, yeah, you... I used to love it there. Yeah, well, I used to go to college there at Bath. Um, yeah. When I was 21, I went there for five years. I had a great, great time. Well, you're cleaning the, the toilets, me. <laughs> Tim, this is my podcast today, not yours, all right? <laughs> Thank you, Pop. <laughs> Diana <laughs> says hello. Di Hi, Diana. How are you, darling? And she sent us a donation. Fantastic. Well, we'll get, we'll get over to Living With MS um, in a minute, obviously, to make, just to tell people what sort of thing you do for yeah. Christine and so on and so forth. There's another story on the back of that with Graham as well. Let's just sort out your professional career first and foremost. So from Bar City, where else did you play? Uh, I went on loan to Cheltenham. Cheltenham, yeah. When Matthew was that born, was all right, yeah. Um, Do you Gloucester City? Gloucester City, yeah. yeah. Enjoyed it there. That was good. Did you go back to Bath? Oh, I went to Bath five times, yeah. Five times back to Bath? Yeah. Was that five different managers? Um, no. No, initially. No. no. Yeah. Stuart Taylor was the manager originally. He yeah, was yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. Um, Never played Forest Green? The other one in no, Gloucester? No, no. no. And obviously for Coventry, which is my big football club, who I've followed for 53 years. Um, what? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. What? Uh, that Bobby Gordon, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby, obviously. Uh, yeah, we fell out there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fall out. But he's a Bristol boy, isn't he? No, Bobby he's Coventry. Go no, but no, Bobby Gold. Wasn't he born in Bristol? No, he's Coventry. Born what, in Bristol. Why do I think? Yeah. Why do I think of Bobby Gold? But he Gold? was manager of Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Lived in Peter's Head, Lives I think. Porter's Head. Porter's yeah, Head. He's that's still right. down there now. He's still there now, yeah, is he? Yeah, yeah, running yeah. about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, okay, that's, that's fair comment. But w did you have a good time at Cov? Yeah, I loved it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Tell us a bit about Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, did, went you went there, for, didn't you? I went there for a month, yeah. I travelled first class. Yeah. Over to Hong Kong. You told me the story about that yeah. before, yeah. Psycho, was it? Yeah, Seiko, yeah, yeah. I thought it was said Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> but it was when he got there. Did you go on your own or did you go with another player? No, I just went on my own, yeah. I, How did you get that? I don't know. But Bobby Gore called me in one day and said, I don't know, I, we, had a, we had a fallout and I think he just wanted to get rid of me. Yeah. So he's mentioned Hong Kong. I thought, well, I yeah. just said, yeah, I don't know. I just thought, well, give it a chance. Just get out of the way, yeah, for a month. And it was lovely. It was weather was like this. It was October. Yeah. And it was, yeah, 70, 70 odd degrees. You was know, the money lovely. decent over there? And obviously, you only had yeah, no, I was on two hundred pound a week, I think, at Coventry, and I think they gave me four hundred for the month. Yeah, that was so good. That was good those yeah. days, wasn't it? So it was all right. Yeah. Yeah. And they and they called me the God on Lion, the God on Lion. The Golden I said, Lion. I said the Golden Lion. He said, Yeah, Golden Yako Hair and Lion, because you're brave as a lion. <laughs> I thought, I, thought was a, I thought that was a Chinese takeaway on the corner. <laughs> oh, fantastic, yeah. What? Unbelievable. What are you pointing for? He keeps pointing at us, doesn't he? Just because you've got Lamb and Joyce yesterday and everybody's happy. How many, oh, um, is, there many, uh, is there many on? Tim's yeah, been on the lash. 62 people. Being 60. On All right, 62. I'm just read a couple of comments. Yeah, go on, please do. Okay, so uh, give, me a, give me the mic. Oh, oh no, you just got to Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, go on, go on. So we got Moira's on, we got Albert, 
Boulderwald the third. Good morning. Alan Fraser, Una Mines, Charlie. Morning, Alan. Uh, Willie Rushton's on. Carl Rushton, but we call him Willie. Yeah. For those of you who remember Willie. Ah, Rushton. yes. Yeah. Albert Tatlock. Is that Albert Tatlock from Coronation Street? Is no, it, yeah? Willie no. Rushton was the guy on the, the, on the comedian, the comedian. The comedian and who's, long, who's on long the, hair. All, the, all the talk shows. And stuff, I remember. Yeah. yeah, top boy with a beard. Yeah, yeah. same, yeah. I remember. But well, that's not him. Glenn Thompson's on. Good morning, boys. Morning, Glenn. Any Coventry fans on today or not? Or are you all shying away? No, Diane not. says she loves the cookbook and a thank you again for the donation there, Diane. So we've got 58 people now. That means we lost two people. They came on, saw my ugly mush and went, where's Webby? <laughs> I think he's the right. other way around, I think. Right or left? Um, I don't know. Well, should we go right? Yep. Yeah, come on. We'll go right. OK. Not been down this neck of the woods for a long time, to tell the truth. Cool. Morning. Morning. Come, yeah. Morning. 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 Eh? The night dress. The night dress. Look at that. Me. Look at this. That's it. Yeah. Beautiful, is is this it? not La Vista? Is this Vista Beach? No, this is no. El Camisan, Las Vistas is next. Oh, that's the one next year. I used to do, do these walks 30 years ago with Dawn. Not done for a long, long time, but beautiful. Webby, how's Callum Doyle and Wilson Estebrand doing in Coventry? Well, Callum oh, Doyle, Callum Doyle, Doyle, as you know, yeah, obviously we've got him um, on loan. Um, he is absolutely fantastic. Got a great left peg on him. He's only 19 years of age. Uh, he's just on a new contract with Man City. Hopefully we can keep him for another 12 months next year. That's the big thing. Uh, as you know, we're flying at the moment. Um, Esbrand, like him better than Cuffy, but he hasn't had the chance because the bid was playing a decent um, left side of midfield. But if he gets the chance, he's a cracking player. So hopefully we might be able to keep him for next year as well. But who knows with the playoffs. We've got a chance, three points off. We've got a better, better goal average uh, than one or two others. So it is what it is, let's just see. And all we can say is P-U-S-B. So, but, but Greg, your game, some of your, who was, where did you play for Cov? What's, um, what's some of the grounds you played at? Oh, um, Sunderland, Highbury. Yeah? Played Highbury, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Where was you, I always what? ask you, your famous goal. I know what it was, but tell the viewers. <laughs> who was your famous goal? Come on. Oh, uh, White Hart Lane. White Hart yeah. Lane, you yeah. scored, yeah? Last minute. Yeah. Last minute, yeah? Second game of the season, yeah. Second game of the season? Goalie. Yeah. <laughs> not, bad, not bad for a goalie, yeah. But I always remember you scored. Shin one in, left foot. In was it? There. Yeah, went in the bottom right hand corner. I always remember. Um, one one, got a point for Cole. The Coventry Liverpool game, when Coventry oh, yeah. beat Liverpool 4 0 at Huntfield Road, and all the big boys, Lawrence, and played for Liverpool. Yeah, Wheeler, Doug, Lease, Doug Lease, they all played. Ian Rush, Soonish, yeah. And uh, Terry Gibson, who's now on. Um, yeah, La Liga TV. He's on the league. He's brilliant. Yeah, he's he does, super. Yeah. He scored a hat trick, didn't he? Yeah. He scored a hat trick. He was only about five foot four, five yeah. foot five, wasn't he? Good player. And uh, you came on his sub last twenty minutes, and you played in that game. Yeah. What an atmosphere that it must was have been. Fantastic. And then they re they re showed the game a week later. Yeah. Oh, uh, super. Everyone everyone turned out. It's packed at the training ground. And what and what about the other time you scored against Wolves in the FA Cup? Was that a replay? Did you, yeah, was two it? replays. Two replays. And you scored two, didn't you? In one yeah. Game. So I, we drew one one at high. Highfield Road. Highfield Road, yeah. They went to Wolves. Yeah. Drew 1-1 one, one again. I yeah, got yeah. took off. I was hopeless that night. Yeah. And then we played on the Monday and I, yeah, scored two. We so beat them 3 0. You got them absolutely super. So you yeah. had good times. For those yeah. of you just joining us, my name's Tim Dow for Living with MS in Tenerife. We've got Graham Withy with us today. And of course, my mate Webby. And Graham is professional footballer, retired. Retired, yes. And uh, we met a few years ago in the Monte Cristo and we said, we've got to go and do this. And Webby's saying, you know, if you're ever doing it, he says, well, I want to be the guy asking the questions. So this is the Webby and Withy show. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the only one, Gray and Withy, <laughs> singing along. Hey, come on, brilliant, brilliant. And now we're on El Camisón, and uh, we're walking around, and Webby's doing a great job interviewing him. If you're used to me, and you know I don't uh, follow football that much, but if you're used to me chit-chatting and doing a quiet sort of saunter around Tenerife uh, Vistas... No chance today. There's no chance today, so uh, uh, don't forget to share this with all your football fan friends. Uh, right now so they can come on live and then they can watch it later as well we've still got 61 people on and that's uh, good which is fluctuating it's more <laughs> it's fluctuating it's morning the, the people are getting up so, it's all right they're getting up and they'll good say morning. Oh, yeah, good morning 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 you too Hello, guys so oh, yeah uh, you're in australia as well i believe yeah i went there um I, yeah, Extra City. Oh, I played for them. Forgot that. Oh, Exeter. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, St James's Park. Yeah, I kept getting injured, and uh, so I left. And I thought, well, I'm gonna go to Australia and just, I've got to do it now. I was 29, more or less finished. And I thought, yeah, yeah. I, I used the PFA sort of not yeah. website. You could, you could contact clubs and 
Brisbane City said, yeah, come over, we'll pay for your flight. And yeah. So I went over there. Super. But so when you six months in Brisbane, yeah. But Good experience. A few years ago when I was, well, I'd known you, obviously, um, after you finish your professional football, you used to do a bit of radio work. It, it, yeah, uh, the stats. Stats. For the to, PF, for Professional the PF. Footballs Association. Gotcha, yeah. yeah, 15 years did that. And you were that, was that Forest Green Rovers? Most, yeah, covering or, Bristol City, City, Forest Green, yeah. Bristol Rovers mostly. Because yeah. obviously, yeah, you're a bit of a stat man, you like your stuff, you know your, yeah. your football players, so you're great to have a conversation with around the table, football quizzes and so on and so yeah. forth, you know your stuff, don't you? Fantastic, yeah. absolutely. Right, well, Patricia, thanks for last night. Yeah, I'll put, I went on a couple of minutes last night. You had a great view in last night up on, on your Monday night blog, didn't you? Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Tim. Brilliant, brilliant. And it's been looked at 1,500 times already. Absolutely superb. Yeah, it was, it was good. Listen, we're growing it for you, aren't we? We're growing it. We're growing. <laughs> you're living with MS in Tenerife. Absolutely. Not, fa- not yeah, killing it. Growing no, we're not it. killing it. No, well, I thought we'd kill it, but not, we're growing it. But the, the temperature, look at the weather. Look Amazing. at this temperature, look at this. What's, what's, what? Turn you around. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at you. Want. Look at yeah. Absolutely stunning. Magnificent. Just a bit of not even a not even a breeze today, is there? Just no. a very light wind. Yeah, we're going to go up to probably 24, 25 degrees today. Just looking absolutely fantastic. Really, really. Change the subject very quickly. How's Christine this morning? Christine is fine. Um, she was a little bit uh, under the weather when we got home last night. Yeah. And I'm hoping, hoping she doesn't have me cough. But she didn't turn over this morning. Normally she turns on her back and listens to the radio. Okay. And she says, to tell you the truth, Tim, I just want to sleep today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ah. I left her on her side. Yeah. She's got a phone. She's got everything she needs. And so as long as I'm back by, let's say, 11, 11 o'clock the latest. Yeah, for sure. She'll be all right. But uh, she sends a look to everybody. Good, good, good. Oh, good. And says, uh, I don't do mornings. She's got a t-shirt, in fact, that says, I don't do mornings. After today, I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> morning, morning. Um, just a little quickie, it's with regards to Graham, just talking to Graham a few days ago, and he's got a little bit of a, a small story about his uh, his ex-wife's mother. Graham. Yeah. We're living with MS in Tenerife. Yeah. She had, had it really bad. Terrible. Yeah, and when I first met her. When you first met your wife? Yeah, she just obviously had to get nurses in in the morning, lunchtime, yeah. and yeah. do the bits and pieces and put her to bed and that. And, uh, There's no real cure for it, is there? No. No. It's, it's just a case it of... Was, uh, to be honest, prolonged. it was horrific, really. She's just laying on the settee and just sort of mouth open and made, occasionally oh, she might blink. Yeah, yeah. Sophie kissed her. It was lovely. Sophie just gave her a kiss. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was lovely. And yeah. I, but I couldn't. I couldn't no. do it. I, no. I, I regret it now. I should yeah. have done it. Yeah, I, I know. I couldn't I know. do it. I think what you've got to appreciate is obviously yeah. what yeah, obviously what to your ex-wife used to have to look after as a carer. And obviously well, we, I think it was, yeah. I don't know about Christine, Tim, but it was no. early 30s, I think, she got it. Yeah. And yeah, and, it, and she went downhill rapidly. How, do you, how would you diagnose it, Tim, it, like when Christine had it first? Well, basically what happens uh, with Christine, she had, uh, she went cross-eyed one day. Yeah. And couldn't get it back. Okay. Now she'd already, she'd already had like a, um, an inflammation of the, sea, of the optic nerve. Yeah. And they were treating that with cortisone. Yeah, yeah. And it kept going and coming, going and coming. And then one day, uh, it was stress. It was coming back from America. We were living in Munich and she didn't really like the place that I'd picked for us to live in Munich. Yeah, yeah. And so we were traveling to her parents every, uh, every weekend, basically. Okay, yeah, yeah. And one of the, one of the way coming back on Sunday night, she went cross-eyed oh, and dear. couldn't get it back. Dear me. So we went mm. to the doctor and they sent her to the uh, specialist. Yeah. And they brain scanned her. Yeah. And when you do a brain scan for people with MS, you see scars. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's inflammation of the nerves. And so there's something, something goes wrong every few weeks, you know what I mean? So a nerve will get a damage. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, maybe you can't move your little finger, or okay. or your, your leg tingles, yeah, yeah. Right, or you yeah. don't have power in your hand, or something like that. Yeah, well, yeah. It's mostly eyes to start with. And then uh, they said, yeah, it's, it's diagnosed as MS, but it doesn't mean the end of your life. No, of right? course, no, of course. But that was in 2002. Yeah. So I mean, it's 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. But horrendous for it, horrendous yeah. for it, yeah, of course. It's 20 years to, you know, to go to the stage where she is now. Do we know if there's many people with MS in Tenerife? Is, is there a club or is, 
Is there a community or anything? Or they there, going is a, there is a community and a, an official club. Yeah. But Chris says, why would I want to go and join that? Yeah, of course. You know? Okay, yeah. yeah. So we, yeah. we've been to health, health groups, but it's mostly feeling sorry for themselves. Yes, of course. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to say, I don't want to no. diss the self-help group. I mean, you're doing no. a great job. There. Yeah, of course, of course. But uh, for Chris, she says, I'd rather just be... Be what she is. Where she is, yeah. Not, yeah. yeah. Well, you do, I mean, I, I praise you up all the time, and I know, but, you know, you do a, I wouldn't want to be in your, but you do a fantastic job. Yeah. You know, you get up in the morning, shower, this, that, and you've got to look after, you've got to feed, and so forth. You come down to the pub, have a quick cup, or just to get away, have your own bit of space, which you've got to. Um, you do your podcast, which you do a phenomenal job, which everybody knows, and even all the people that you interview. Um, you've got the Scotsman, fantastic Scotsman. Uh, as he says, you're, okay. the, you're, you're, Mr. you're Mr. Technical, which you are. You are Mr. Technical. Although you watched the thing I did the other day, no. I interviewed you for an hour yeah, and, and, and didn't turn the camera no, on. No, no, no. I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, but overall, yeah, you do an absolutely phenomenal job. So, all right, goes off to you, big man. Thank absolutely you very much. Does. Uh, pleasure, pleasure. Absolutely superb. Um, should we have a sit down for two minutes? I know. Yeah, I you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you know, obviously. Right. Yeah, come on. It's a, it's a beautiful morning, isn't it? There's a bench over there with my name on it. Yeah, morning. Do you want to look out to see? Or Come on. Yeah. Over that one over there? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're here. Where to see? Uh, that's where my you... pals stay in the park at Santiago. Oh, that's where you, uh, in Santiago? Yeah. It's like number... Yeah, be careful three, three, on three, the four. cobblestones. Oh, yeah, crikey. I oh, see our house from here. There we go. You see my house from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. St. Peter, was that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's the... Is that Play Appraisal? Hard Rock Cafes? Yeah. Yeah, Hard that's the two, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, we live in Kalosovaki, the uh, next village on. Do they know you're the mayor of Kalosovaki? <laughs> yeah, they do now. Uh, do you know how to say Kalosovaki? Is it Kayo? Kayo. 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 You go sit there, I'll film it. Oh, I'm going to go this side because then you can look in the oh, sun. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my. Timothy, all we need now, a uh. couple of bottles of Heineken. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit early for me. Raymondo and Patricia say Webby Boom. Webby Boom, yeah. Everybody's a Webby Boom, love it, mate, love it. I do a boom. The reason why the boom comes from is because, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a gambler. I like me GGs. I've been re as you know, I've been retired seven years, and uh, people say, What do you do with your time? Well, I don't smoke, don't take drugs. And I just walk down the village, have a couple of beers with the boys, love me a bit of gambler, love me GGs in the afternoon. Uh, not massive, but look, just love them, just love it. As you know, I worked last week. In the hops and grapes, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, busy, Thursday, right? Friday. Oh, busy. He always oh. gives me tips on the horses. Unfortunately, yeah. they've already won. <laughs> oh, Tim, you should yeah. have this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 to 1. Yeah, you're a bit, you're a bit late. Yeah. He's never told me a 50 to 1 no. before. Nah. Hardest four days of my life, I tell you. <laughs> Sat on that store for six and a half hours. Just all the Irish there. Just unbelievable. Take some money. Brilliant. But I'll be in the hops and grapes tomorrow afternoon and Graham. Yeah. If anyone yeah, wants yeah. to pop down and say hello to us. That's in Puerto Colón. Puerto Colón yeah. upstairs. We'll be down there. We can have a have a couple of little sherbets, on me. Yeah. And yeah, have a little sure. have a little flutter and one have you with the boys in. A little gamble. And I've got I, yeah, I've got one or two nice uh, lads coming over. Um, I want to talk in a minute about a bit of charity that I'm I'm doing for this year. Um, over the past in my last pub, the Garden Bar, we used to do a lot of charity for Help the Heroes Lions Club, and there was another uh, for children or youngsters that parents didn't want them when they were born in in the canaries and there was a particular place they used to send them in la sheofa and there was um two or three monks used to look after them and um fantastic it was fantastic and they were opening in this particular room i remember i can't think what the room was called it was a you know when they um for the lights to dim and so on and so forth. Uh -huh. So a very good friend of mine who works in the doctors, so I said, listen, I want to do another charity. Can you offer? And she said, well, we go and do this, do that. So we went there, not the door, it's a, like a church. And you wouldn't know what the place was. And a monk came to the door and uh, Spanish, bum, 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 bum. And I said, listen, I want to give you a few quid. We're doing a charity, it's in an English pub. and." Um, and he looked at me as if like, you know, I'd be white vest on then, you're taking the mickey, what you want about? Yeah. So anyway, they were going to build this room, extension, lights and so on and so forth. So, yeah, to calm down all the children. There were children, there were older people, uh -huh. that they, the families couldn't look after them, and that's where they went. So, um, 
about two months later, Dawn and myself went there, locked the door, walked in, bang, pound notes. I think we gave him just under 7,000 euros. Wow. Uh, we had some more to come. It, obviously, he told us about nine grand. So I built the room, the lights, everything. Oh, couldn't believe it. I said, I told you, if I say I'm going to do something, we're going to do it. And we did it. And then we done Help the Heroes Lions Club. Every October it was, always the end of October, because where the garden bar was, we had a lot of people staying in the Salt Sun Beach. Uh -huh. 40 plus from Luton. Great people from Luton. You remember that? Yeah. yeah from Luton. That's on yeah. the Fanny Bay Tour Vistas. Yeah, area. on yeah. there. And I used to get lots of sporting memorabilia, many, many sporting memorabilia, items and whatever you uh, have an auction and so on and so forth. So because we sold the pub, I always like to do something. And I thought, I'll do something this year. So cut a long story short, I've got two items that I'm going to put on social media through your good self, maybe the radio and what have you. Mm -hmm. And the two items that I've got, one of them, you got it in there, Greg? Greg? What, the hat? Yeah, got the hat. I've got, if you're into horse racing, it's Godolphin, signed by the number one flat jockey of the world, William Buick, wow. born in Norway, lives in England, rides for Charlie Appleby at Godolphin. And I've got the photograph to prove it. That's number one, somebody can win that or bid for it, or whatever, whichever way I do it. Mm. And the second one is, very good friend of mine, Tony from Liverpool, he's over, came over yesterday. He's very good mates with Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. And Paddy the Baddy who does the UFC and so forth. The, the snooker player. Yeah, the, oh, everybody knows Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. And he's brought me over yesterday, snooker cue, signed by Ronnie as well, mm -hmm. which is absolutely awesome. And I've got the little video, audio video that states and you can see him signing it. Too so, webby. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's, well, no, not too webby. It says Webby's Charity, and you can wipe that off anyway. So you've got, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so you've got proof in the pudding that um, that's the charity, and it's probably going to be for cancer over here and so and so forth. Okay. We'll decide that later. So that's another item that you could bid for. That is absolutely phenomenal. And where do we see this? Are you going to be on Facebook? or? Well, yeah, I, I will put it on Facebook, because I don't do Facebook. Matthew, my son, does Facebook, so I'll put it on with there. I'm going to put it on the radio. Mm. I haven't designed how to actually get as much money as I can. I've already got one or two people that want to bid for the um, uh, for the snooker queue. Uh -huh. so, so we'll try and raise as much money as we possibly can. So that's my deed for the year. Cool Always like to do it for the deed. So that's cool that's, deed, what, that's, what, that's what we're going to do for, uh, for charity this year. Sounds good, Greg, isn't it? Yeah, when, when are you going to do that? Well, it's, going to to prob yet? it's going to probably going to be June, July, August, right. whatever you in the summer, I think. So uh, it's just, I might get one or two other items. I think it's, uh, if, if one or two people got it. If anybody's got anything, of substantial sports and memorabilia and they want to give to me, then I can raise some money for charity. Then obviously through Tim, please. I got some underpants that I need getting rid of. <laughs> <They'll> be... <laughs> Thanks Tim. Cole's place is on. Who's on? Cole's place. Um, of course, yeah. North Tenerife, man. Uh, is Sarah is Sarah on or is she working? It's I don't... Great. Sarah's not on yet. No. Crispy's on, Pearson Adventures on, Diana. There's a question here. Yeah. Nice and quiet here in Cheltenham now, Webby. Montpellier wine bar shut down before Christmas. No. I think it's been sold. Well, I've well, I got another story. But, well, my wife Dawn, she I, had coffee shops in Montpellier. She used to have Mrs. B's and uh, Munchies. I think Munchies is still there. That was Dawn's 30 years ago. Wow. Been in the Montpellier wine bar many, many times. Beautiful. Absolutely. It's like the Mayfair of London. Lovely. Montpellier. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Lee from Pearson Adventures has always done a charity football match with Doncaster Rovers yeah. and Liverpool this year. If any viewers would like to follow and donate, it's Eve's Trust. Super. E-B-E-S Trust. Okay, fantastic. How many's on there? Uh, 50, 87 people on there. 87, wow. lovely. 51 thumbs up, thank you so much. And with, um, with regards to, just, I'll put it to you, to like and subscribe, what have they got to do? Right. If you like what you see, you can close the chat and there's a little like button. Cost you nothing, press the thumbs up. It helps push this out for everybody else. And if you want to be uh, informed of when I go live or when I upload some drone videos or do other stuff, then you can subscribe. That's also for free. And if once you've subscribed, you can decide whether you want to be disturbed or not. And if you ring the bell, it just says, bang, Tim's live or bang, Tim's uploaded something. All that is free. So go do that and then come back to the live chat. 
and say, I did it. Well, you know, you were t I was asking you this morning, um, there's obviously not a charity for living with MS in Tenerife, but with your charity base is obviously for Christine. Now, you were telling me it's something. It's not a charity. No, really. no, it's not. It's, mean, you know, no, it's not a charity. But what I'm saying is, from what she does, she doesn't have a life. So her life is reading Audio at books, home. Yeah. Right. So if somebody wants to donate or to help in, in that situation, what, she, what, what does she like doing? She likes well, to read her audiobooks. Well, she's got a PayPal account. Okay, yeah. And in the PayPal account, um, you can get to it in the description. Yeah. Or you can go to timothydowd.com and say how to sponsor. Yeah. And what you can do, you can send her a couple of bob. And if you, if you use friends and family, then they don't pay tax on it. So you don't have to give your address or anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and we get all the money then. We go, we use it for... Um, for the channel also, so we pays the data on the phones and that. Yeah, of course. And then also, Christina gets a couple of books a month. And, Fantastic, uh, great course, so great if, course. If you want to do that, that then please do. Or you can do super chats on here, which we get at the end of the following month. And uh, but I think they take thirty percent off in free tax. Okay. The Americans do does that. So the easiest way to give um, Christina um, some support is to go to the website timpidab.com and press the button to sponsor. It tells you all the different types of things you can do there. One of them is PayPal, and she gets that directly, immediately as well. And you're socialising, really, because you don't... You, I know you love, you love it a bit, of course you do, but it's not as if you can just say, come on, maybe this weekend, we're going to go off to La Gomera to the north. I, I mean, you're... Travel, no. Of course you can. Your, your socialising is down Monte Cristo, see the boys, yeah. have a couple of quick beers and what have you. Yeah. Obviously, I look after you, you know, but at the end of the day, it's only more to donate a couple of quid so we can have a couple of pints of beer and we're talking what a pint of beer in Montes 150. 150 nice pint of direct super of it yeah. so one and Dave keep these prices low for all the boys and girls <laughs> fantastic <laughs> okay right that's all done should we go for a walk yep let's carry on right come on boys and girls beautiful absolutely is, oh I can't... got the wood or the, over there do you want to do the wood? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Oh, she's just ma not done this for many, many moons. This is magnificent. So, if you if you point over there, you yeah. Top, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you can t you can see the two uh, the two tall blocks. That is Play Appraiser, where Hard Rock Cafe One and Hard Rock Cafe Two is. So you're behind and then, that. And then you? behind yeah. that is obviously where Tim and I live yeah. in Kelosovaki. Um and you can follow it round, obviously, from Los Cris all the way round. Torviscus, Fania Bay, La Caleta, you can see up the mountain. Ah, oh, you can't really see La Gomera today, there's a little bit of cloud over there. On the left hand side, you've got the other small island of um, El Hierro, and on the right hand side, usually you can see La Palma. But you've got to be like on a, on a nice evening when the sunset goes down, it's absolutely magnificent. It really, really is. Oh, the waves are pretty nice as well, too. Look, ah, oh, with the surfers, one or two surfers. I mean, we are obviously very, very lucky that we made decision like you did to come and live here many years ago and uh, never look back but we very rarely come down to the beaches because it was always working yeah the pub's always open <laughs> and, the, and the book is but um, yeah it's nice to come out in the morning like and you do see what um, what you're missing morning you two morning. where are you two from Newcastle. come on let's come on let's just have a talk come on you can talk with me come on just have a, oh, have, yes. come on come and talk come move over there we'll talk in a minute oh, come on <laughs> Right, here we go, right, no. holiday couple, yeah, right. Newcastle. Yeah. Are you a football, rugby, what are you? Football. Well, football, but I, I, well, when the two are away, I watch rugby. Yeah, well, this is a young gentleman living with uh, MS in Tenerife. This oh, is Tim. Right. We, we both live in a village, uh, Kalosovaki. Stop looking at that lady. That's, that's, I'm younger, that, that's me to look at. Oh, yeah. All right. My dad had, eh? my yeah. dad had MS. You, your dad had yeah. MS? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, this is my friend Graham Withy, he's ex football uh, professor. His ex mother in law had MS as well. Gosh. Yes. So, where are you staying here? Um, just behind us. Just beyond. Lovely. Going yeah. You going home today? Yeah. Oh, so, do you come to Tenerife on a regular basis? Every year. Every year. Every year. Same, same, yeah. same sort of time? Same fortnight, first two in March. Lovely. Or first two or three. Yeah. Shortens the winter back at home. Yeah, yeah of course. Awesome, isn't it? Champion. And you and you'll be back again next year sometime. Yeah, yeah. These two yeah. do. Oh, well, I don't. I'm going back Thursday. Yeah, he's he's back on Thursday. I got I used my dad's apartment in Kalamata. Uh, sorry, that's Costa your good Deke. lady. 
Lovely, top boy. Look at 50, 53 years 50, married. 53 years married. Yes, yeah. Happy, yeah. 50, yeah. happy for five, Dorothy. like. Dorothy. Dorothy. David. And Dorothy. David. David. The double Ds. Yeah. The double Ds. Well, actually, double, hey. double Oh, look, he's off. He's getting ready. Oh, wait a minute. Have you used a hero? Have you, have you played at Newcastle? No. No, never played Newcastle? No. But he played at the Macam. Did you play at Sunderland? Played, yeah. He played at yeah, Sunderland. Somebody has to. Somebody yeah. has to. Yeah. Our grandson plays rugby for Tyndale. Oh, does he, yeah? yeah. Does it? Well, oh. I'm a Gloucester boy, rugby. let me rugby as well. And he's in the, he's in the county under 15. Is he? Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. That's oh, brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, listen, it's nice to meet you. Right. Have a great flight home, Dave. All right? All the best. Sort of, man. I'll see you next year. You look after yourself. Look after her. Bye, Bye, sweetheart. Take care. Bye. Nice to see you. Yeah, we'll do. Enjoy. Yeah. Bye-bye, you two. See you later. Bye. Wave. See you guys. Bye. If you want to see it, just go to LWMST. LWMST on YouTube. Living with yeah, this, Tenerife. This, is, this, this goes live. This is live now across the world. So you're live on TV There's now. three people watching right now. <laughs> and just say bye-bye. Bye. Morning, girls. Bonjour. Yeah, French? Yeah. North France, South France, <laughs> Nice. Ah, uh, no, Belgique. Oh, Belgique, Belgium. Belgium. What's that, Bruges? You got Bruges in Belgium? No, Ghent, Liège. Ghent? No, Liège. Liège. A stand, a standard Liège. The sta it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, football. Oh, no, oh, no. that's no good. <laughs> 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 Au revoir. Au revoir, madame. But see, it's, it's, it's always football, isn't it? It's a Liège, you think it's standard Liège, don't you? You think of football, brilliant. You picked the wrong club. Oh, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I picked the wrong club, didn't I? <laughs> I said France, not as Belgium. Lovely. What a nice couple, the double Ds. Yeah. Lovely. Back tomorrow. Come on the tune. Absolutely on the money, son. What a I'm glad I come out now, Tim. Good. So I was waking this morning, I thought, oh, I've got to go see Tim in Grail. <laughs> but had a share with him, you better come on. Took Buster out for a nice walk. And that was it. Well, Sarah, you found the bus Sarah Childs, are you on, my darling? I'm missing you, like you always miss me. Thank you for your prezzy. Ray Bundo saying, the confidence of Webby is wonderful. <laughs> that depends on what side you're <laughs> on. Uh, we'll tap somebody else up in a bit, don't worry. Did you see that young lady go past? Go. Cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's what he was looking, wasn't he? I said, get your eyes off. Morning. <laughs> and you, how are you? We want somebody dodgy so we can sort them out. Want somebody dodgy. Morning. 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 How are you? How you going, Drew? Yeah, yeah, good. Fine, thank you. Oh, yeah. You, when you get the foreigners, you, you, you lose a little bit, don't you? You're the bloody foreigner, are you? <laughs> yeah, I know. You keep saying it. What? I've never seen it. What's this, Tim? This uh, statue. Yeah, yeah. Of what? I think it's just a windmill. Yeah. Well, it's not moving. It's not a windmill. <laughs> Another end, is it? Unbelievable. But well, they've done this place up down here, this beach club. Ah, yeah. Ah. I've not, I've got you, I've not been here for, oh, donkeys, just, donkeys. Just. You were here, when you, last week? Yeah. Walked past it with Sarah, didn't you, I think? And I did me the drone shot from here. Yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so I've got drone shots on there. I've got most of the Maritime, Maritime walkway now. So I'm going to cut that all together so you'll be able to travel from La Caleta yeah. to Los Cristianos by drone. Come on, will you wow. go down? Yeah, we'll go down. Yeah. Wonder what it costs to um, hire a, a bed in I here for know, the day. What's the, uh, what's the step? Thanks, man. Morning, morning, <laughs> morning. Oh, she's waving. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a view, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. A, just careful. I wonder what they charge for that, Timmy. Eh? Somebody over there, you know. Probably sit on here. No, that's probably just what you what you can and you cannot do. I would think. Uh, the people they don't swim in this, do they? Do they? Mm -hmm. so. so. Can you? Yeah. I think they've uh, dredged it and put sand in. Come on. Morning. Morning. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's like it, yeah. That's the step. Yeah. Morning. Morning. Oh, yeah. That's a good shot. It's fantastic, that is, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely. So you can... Uh, there you go. Screenshot that. Yeah. And have it as your wallpaper. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And this is your haunt, isn't it, over here? 
your tall viscous and fanny well, yeah, beach. Tall, yeah, that's my uh, my man, ex manor. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tim, it, it all changes now. People say this, uh, and the pubs that people buy, they sell, they buy. So I don't know so many people down there now. It all chops and changes. Come on. You got to own the building to make money, haven't you? Then you can sell it. You can yes, sell yes. Like a five year lease every three years. Well, well yes, yeah, well, you can. Yes, and no. If you're good at what you do, uh -huh. then uh, morning, girls. Morning. Morning, darling. Morning. Yeah, you. If you're good at what you do within the pub, and if you've got a decent um, rent and one of your decent landlord, you can make it pay. I mean, we've had three pubs, as you know, as I tell everybody. Uh -huh. they, they were all leaseholds but we made very, very good money on them. And all the people that bought them after, within a year, they chucked the keys in, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you. but, but you, that's right, you got to. That's why I retired at 58. But I'm officially retired in August, it's 66. I can't believe I'm 65, Tim. 65. 66, look, yeah, I've got my English pension, I'm my Spanish pension. Don't tell the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a coffee somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah there, come on. So, um, yeah, we get to a bit, bit more of a busier, uh, busier part. What's, what's this hotel here, Tim? Do you know this? This is the uh, H10 Conquistador. Ah, it's a Conquistador. Got you. Okay. I think. Morning, morning. Morning, morning Tenerife. Away, son. All right, good. I'll tell you what, Tim. Um, Saturday night, five thirty. Back to a bit of football. CD Tenerife played Las Palmas in Gran Canaria, which is the big local derby. That's like Liverpool, Everton, May and I, you know, uh -huh. uh, Newcastle, Sunderland. And uh, 24,000 and Tenerife beat them 4 1. Absolutely unbelievable. CD Tenerife? Yeah, 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 beat Las Palmas 4 1. They were 2 up in five minutes, just then 3 0 up half time. Um, didn't go to the game, um, but a um, great win for him. Absolutely well, you can get magic. A bus, can't you, outside the Toby Jug to go see it? Well, you've got to get your tickets. I mean, they're all fully booked with Chris Todd, who's the general. He's, he's um, never misses a game. He's a top fella, Chris Todd. He looks after all the tickets and so on and so forth. But you've got to, you've got to know when in advance to get to that game. Yeah. But, uh, but that was a great result to be the local derby, the local rivals for one. They didn't know what hit them, to be honest with you. Yeah. You walk that side, I'll walk this Yeah, side. okay, sure. We wouldn't want to be, we wouldn't want that time, would we? Uh, do you ever walk down here, Gray? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Just, just so many people walking. You can do this 24/7, couldn't you? Meet different people every single day. Yeah. Just absolutely magnificent, magnificent. Look at the view, isn't it? It's like that's unbelievable. Ah, absolutely. See all these different, obviously, Starbucks now. Yeah. But back in here, they're five, six pound a coffee, aren't they? Yeah. So where are we, where's Tim taking us? Where are you taking us, big man? Pardon? Corner here. Corner here. <laughs> yeah. On the corner. Lovely. Yeah, we go here, son. Ice cream. We happy on you? Great looks of business. Do you want a bit of sun? Do you want a bit of sun? All right. Yeah, you love you love the sun. Me and you are going here, Tim. Hi, Mucho gracias. Jelly spoons. Uh, well, you haven't said that for a long time, have you? <laughs> jelly, you're in your jelly spoons. Ladles of jelly spoons, that's it. Ah! Good at you. Oh, it's all you. See? Hey, me, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 but another. Oh, sorry. Ah, There's no person, no person here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Venga. Hey. See, see, see. Okay, where do you want to go? Hello. Hi, Hello. one of this. See, that's persona. Yeah. That's great, thank you. Bang it. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, if you sit on the end. Yeah, you want the end. Okay. Yeah. You go there. Are you in the middle? Because then we're all in it. Oh, we're going there, okay. Awesome. Back in forest, boy. Up the forest. Staying up or going down? Oh, oh, <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's nice here. Well, he wasn't sat there. I don't know who he was talking to. That's my table, is it? What's your name on it? 
Yeah, I know. I yeah. don't know where he was. Well, there was no, that's right, it doesn't matter. That's okay. That's okay. Here we yeah. go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can I have that mic? Yeah. Uh, you just put your hand inside and grab it. Do you want just normal coffee? Yeah. See, see. Do you want normal? Cut normal coffee? Yeah. For this? See, see. See, that's it. Do you want a croissant or anything? Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah, go on. See, see, to be in. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Nice corner. It will do that. No, that was it. There we go. Now that'll catch you two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then I've got one myself then. Ladies and gentlemen, today has been slightly different. It's been the Webby Withy show. And for those of you who just joined us, it's Graham Withy. Footballer, retired. He played for Coventry, he's played for Bath, he's played for... Um, Western, Exeter, Western, Cardiff, Exeter, uh, Brisbane. All, Brisbane, Hong Kong, we found out. And uh, we've been walking around today just having a chit chat. Webby's a great sports commentator. Webby has done a load for charity. He's had three pubs on the island. We can't shut him up, but I think that's what people like about him. You know, he's, he's, got, the, he's got the gift of the gab. He's confident. He went and sat by Dor Dorothy and Dave and just got them chatting. I mean, it is me stood in the middle saying, do you speak English? And he just walks straight in, bang, and interviews people. Sorted. So I'm learning everything. I'm learning a lot tonight. Uh, uh, estamos uh, pedido. Sí, ya pedido, ya. Sí. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to relax and have a coffee, maybe eat a croissant, and uh, you guys can have a look at this view for a second and then we'll come back to say ta -ra. So let's uh, turn you round. They can still hear us. Of course. They can still hear us, yeah, but they're watching the people go by yeah. on Playa yeah. de las Americas. Lovely, Playa very busy. Americas. March is always a busy, <coughs> when I have the pubs, Tim. March, March and April is the end of the high season. Yeah. Uh, May goes dead, first May. of May. That's why you can get you can get cheap tickets. Cheap tickets, first cheap of May. Cheap flying over. In fact, it's a great uh, time to come, May. Ange, and Angel, I don't know if you know her, but she's uh, featured on um, the MacMasters channel quite okay, a lot. The blonde yeah, girl yeah. from... Yeah. No. She's coming over in summer for a week, uh, but she's looking for a place for, uh, from the 21st of December to the 2nd or 3rd of uh, yeah. January. Yeah. She wants to do a self-catering apartment somewhere in Los Chris. Okay. Do you know anything? It's not my manager down there. Not no, my manager down there either. I think you've just got to put it on. Social in uh, fingers crossed on social. Apps. I think you can actually get a lot from uh, what's his name now from uh, that? Airbnb and all that. Yes, Airbnb, they're right? They're not cheap, but you, you can get some nice ones. Airbnb, uh -huh. they're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely everywhere. Right, that's enough of uh, looking at uh, women in, in in tops. We're gonna or no tops or whatever it was. Easy to easy gotta be to, careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, especially if Christine's on. Uh huh. Uh, Christina doesn't watch this rubbish. No, 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 just don't. <laughs> she, well, she'll watch it if I go and um, if I. If, there's usually a highlight. Yeah, of course. And I'll say, oh, and this she, happened, this yeah. happened, and she loves that. Yeah, and I'll course. stick it on the TV for her because I've got this massive TV now, which I bought for her, obviously. Yeah, of course. There's nothing to do with all my science fiction movies in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm being Mr. Technical. Oh, excellent, excellent. As you do. Excellent. So, what's so <coughs> fun for today? What's your. Uh, Plan of action today. today is Tuesday. We don't do yeah. anything on a Tuesday. It's no. uh, meet up Monday last night. Yeah. Tuesday is Christina's day of relax and recuperation. Lovely. So what I do is I do a little bit of cleaning in the morning, and we I, I, I try and do one room a day, and then it's all covered in the week. In it, you okay. know. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. a lot of cleaning in the morning, do some washing, and then around about three thirty, four o'clock, I go shopping. Because we don't tend to do a weekly shop because we don't know what we're going to eat. No. And I find out with a weekly shop, sometimes you buy stuff you don't use and you end up chucking it away. So we go and we just buy what we need. Yeah. And then on the way home from shopping, I go down for a couple of scoops to the Monte Cristo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Webby here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually go when you're not there as well sometimes. <laughs> I, don't go every, but, I don't go every day. But there's, there's always a pint in for me. Yeah, there's always a pint. Put it on Webby's bill. Not a problem. I, I never do that. I, know, I never put a beer on your bill without you, you saying. No, but you can anyway. But I will now. You know you can. I'll retract, I'll retract that one. <laughs> I'll say, give me two pints, one on Webby, one on Withy. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, Webby, yeah. Withy, Withy, Withy. Withy, Wonderland. So. Have you enjoyed your day? Yeah? It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, you've enjoyed your day. Fantastic. And what's, uh, what's on the plans for you, uh, Graham? I've got to do some shopping later. Yeah? Yeah. I've got to meet Glenn as well. He's in, um, San Eugenio. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, good mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But he's off to. Um... He's uh, back in the UK, isn't he? No, no, no. He's, he's going to Valencia on Thursday. 
Yeah. Valencia. Yeah. To Den Denya. Going there for a few days with his good lady, oh. Ella, from one of you. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm off to going back in a minute. Dawn's having uh, doing a grandmother duties for somebody, um, looking after Amber and Grant's um, little boy Nico for oh, an hour right, okay. at 10:30. Yeah, we love having little babies, right? So she look after Nico for an hour. Then 12:30 we're going off to Almedino, taking Buster um, and Matthew in Dawn. Matthew's off for two days. His girl. Faye's out next Monday. What's going on next month. Monday? She's out next next Monday for a month, which is lovely. Never met you, but I know all about you. Yeah, and hi, it's, These long distance relationships yeah. are hard on it. Yeah. They're very tough, but it's, great. It's, she's coming here to live. It's just taking a bit of time in through um, a grandmother who, um, with the, obviously an Irish passport okay, in, okay. and all the bits and pieces, the uh, paraphernalia that go through. But so it's getting there. Yeah. So she's a, she's a paramedic, an absolutely top paramedic. You uh -huh. know, and what she's done and what she's done is. It's nobody's business, as you know, yeah. looking after people. Nobody's somebody. business, and we're telling 94, uh, 64 people, no, 93 people now. Up to 93. Cool, dude. Let's just find out what you guys are saying. I'm going to stick this back on for you. Okay. I'm going to turn you around so that you can watch the, uh, the wheel go by while I'm doing this. It's damp and drizzly over here, says Barry Oliver. Uh, Brendan Purcell, Graham had quite get, a football we, career. Should Lots we, should of clubs. We the, should we get the birds on? We have done this before, yeah. You're live on YouTube. Give us a wave. 92 people watching already. Where, where are you ladies from? Uh, I'm from near Worcester. Near Worcester, yeah? I'm from Coventry. Coventry, there you go. Well, all right, right, we'll stop there. Coventry City fan, 53 years, the biggest in Tenerife. Believe me. No, no, no. <laughs> Worcester. Met my wife, um, Cheltenham. And her mum and dad was in Evers from Eversham. Oh, right, yeah. So that's two out of two. What's the third one? Come on. Well, I'm a bit of an eclectic mix, really. So, where, yeah, go on. Oh. Okay, yeah. Sheffield, Devon, Coventry. Sky Blue Army Girls. She's an, an eclectic Sisters, enigma. Yeah. So, yeah. did you come over on your own? Sorry? Did you come you over come on There's three own? of them. You can't, ask, you can't ask three women. Do you yeah. come over on your own? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll stop that conversation, I think, very quickly. <laughs> See. I forgot we'd ordered food. That's not. That's not like you, Tim. That's not like me. <laughs> there we go. We got a croissant and some there coffee. Gracias, amigo. Uh, we got. I, I got a, uh, a YouTube channel called Living with MS in Tenerife. And uh, there's 93 people watching, so it's it's for them really. And people who come over here, we had a, we actually had 14 people last night at the meetup on a Monday night. We all the people that watch they get the opportunity to come and meet us, and we had 14 people at the meetup last night in Chaos Savaki over there by the Hard Rock Hotel, all right, yeah. right far away. We're the next village, so that's pretty cool. That's what we. Yeah, since 2014. Yeah, 1994, me. Wife's got, yeah, 94, in. 94, I came. Wife's got MS, so she decided she wanted a, a all year round springtime. And so for her 50th birthday, we moved over. Happy days. I was a magician. No, just, just me. It's a Graham Withy, professional footballer. He used to play for Coventry, 80, 84 to 86. That was 87 I was, there I was there. May the 16th, I was there. Yeah, I was there. I remember it well. Yeah, great. Best day of my life. Yeah. Forget the kids, grandkids, one. Best day of my life. No, I'm a Gloucester boy. Uh, yeah, Gloucester. All right. Oh, thanks very much indeed, darling. Thank you, love. I love supporting for 53 years through thick and thin. What, you were the thick, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. Taking a mick out of me, that woman, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm going to say. Well, you've got to be able to give it. You've got to be able to take it to give it. I can take it. You've got to be able to take it to give it, right? Don't you worry He's been about giving it out all thing, morning. Yeah. As you do. Okay, I'm going to turn you around, ladies and gentlemen, so you can look at my ugly mush. So this is Tim Dow for Living With MS in Tenerife. We've reached the 100 mark. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're going to have this coffee here. We're in the Metropolis, I think it is. Or yeah. It's Metropolis, yeah. It's, yeah, but that, I think the, this one downstairs is called. Oh, it is Metropolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did say to uh, 
what's his name, Graham, that we were coming this way. So he might yeah. be joining us soon. Oh, yeah, but okay. We don't know. Yeah. Coffee's lovely and warm. Croissant looks oh. quite good as well. Croissant looks good. I'm going to break it in front of you so you can see how crumbly it is. I don't normally do food blogs, but this croissant looks really oh, good. You do. And it's light. It's light. And you eat it. Oh, look at that. Je suis désolé, je ne parle pas français. Yeah. Mmm, magnifico. Oh, no, he dips it. Oh, no. You don't dip it in coffee? No. That's OTT, Tim. OTT. That's, OTT, Tim. That's a faux pas. That's OTT, Tim. Tim. A faux pas. Mmm. You didn't mess that up, didn't you? Yeah, oh. There you go. I'm as good as her husband. Sad. Very Might get sad. a chance to prove it, you never know. <laughs> what you meant? Like me mouth. What you meant? What you meant? Like, me, like me daddy is. Like me dad. I've got to sort you. got to look after you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want me to walk somewhere with you, either come over, give me a call, send me an email, me at timothydad.com, go to timothydad.com and uh, book a morning. We'll go for a walk, I'll interview you. If you don't want to be interviewed, we'll just walk along and I'll chit chat while you enjoy the sights and sounds. We'll stop for a coffee and a croissant somewhere and uh, we'll shoot the moon. Don't forget I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday at 5.55 is Meet Up Monday. We had a great up Monday last night. Wednesday is Balcony Banter where we discuss a topic that you decide. And you can come on live with your phone, your tablet or your computer. Just go to timothydowd.com slash live and find out how to join in from home. And uh, Freaky Friday is me out and about somewhere, talking to people, having a few scoops. And if you want to join me on that as well, bring your wallet. <laughs> as we do. As we do. So we've been on 56 minutes now. Love you, Webby. We want more of you with Tim, says Mark LFC. Mark, I'm sorry. Mark LFC. So it's either Liverpool Football Club no, or Leicester yeah, Football Club. It won't be Leicester. No, it won't be Leicester. It'll, it'll probably, probably Liverpool. It won't be Leicester, man. Yeah. Okay, so this Can is. Can I just, before we shoot off, just yeah. um, reiterate my charity for cancer this year? Oh, yeah. I'm going to um, do it through social media. Not and you'll sure. find, you see it on this channel as well? Yeah, you see it on this channel, obviously, every time. Um, I've got two great items at the moment. I've got um, a signed cap from the number one flat jockey. Um, and I've also got, that's obviously by, signed by William Buick. And I've got the photograph to confirm. And I've also got a fantastic, I'm picking up tomorrow, I'll make Tony very good friends with Rocket Ronnie O'Sullivan. And I've got a snooker cube signed by Rocket Ronnie. And I've got the video, which I'm gonna put up as a short yeah. after this. Okay, and who would not want that? There's one a very good friend of mine, Ian, from Sheffield, he's a Sheffield Wednesday, big, goes to all the Wednesday games, all the England games. He went to Qatar as well. He brought me back a program of all the England games. Top time. He wants that as well. So he's going to make a big bid for it. So it's all going to go to Cancer Trust over here. So you can get your wallet out. Probably going to do it maybe June, July, August. So if we keep saying it, saying it, saying it, put it on the radio, more money we get, the more money we can give to, to a Cancer Trust, okay? So thanks everybody. Esther Perfecta. Uh, let's go around to Mr. Withy. My mate, Withy. Just hang on to that a second. Thank you. Is there any last words you want to say to the viewers? Quickly. <laughs> Come on, Greg, talk to him. Have you had a good time today? You've had a great time, haven't you, Greg? And yeah. How long are you staying for? We're back Thursday. Thursday. Mm. And we, well, I, I, won't, I won't be in the pub. Uh, unless it goes afternoon. I won't be in the pub later. No, but he's coming. We're going to... Um, Hopton Grapes tomorrow. Hopton Grapes tomorrow afternoon. Excuse me. Going to meet Tony, a couple of other lads, um, into the bookies, have a little flutter and a couple of drinks, have a little chit-chat. So if anybody wants to come down and meet us, me and Graham will be there. Uh, talk football, talk horse racing, whatever you want. So if you want to pop in, come and say hello. You're more than welcome. Graham, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We... Uh, Let's get all three of us in. So, do you want me back or what? You know, 
I don't know. I don't know. I reckon he ought to have his own channel. What no, do you think? No, no, what do you no. think? Not whenever I'll be the cameraman and we'll just push Webby out. No, no, no. Webby will be joining me on one of the walks at least once a month, maybe twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be coming over on Freaky Friday. If I'm in the Monte Cristo and he's there, he'll come over and say hello. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Monday meetup, he doesn't come, but he's down the road. I'll let you, but let. That's, that's your domain. That's my Man, domain. That's your domain with all your people coming over. I would want to get involved with that. But if you want to come Monday yeah. meetup and you want to meet Webby, then let me know and I'll let him know. And if he's got time, yeah, okay. he might come up. But, yeah, of uh, course. Yeah, yeah, right. They don't do, do Heineken there, do they? I don't know. It's got to be bottles of Heineken. Got to be bottles of Heineken. Heineken. Yeah, that's all I drink. You can that's get him it. anywhere for bottles of Heineken. <laughs> for a freebie. So the hour's up now. And uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. This is Tim Down for Live With MS and Tenerife, together with Webby and Withy. And we're at the Metropolis with the best looking girls in the world. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See Bye, ya. Bye, everybody. Would Take care. Be ya. <laughs> 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 <laughs>